Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got a new flight controller from Foxier. We have Foxier F7B4 flight controller. Now before I begin this video, I would like to tell you guys that this video isn't sponsored by Foxier in any means. And that being said, without wasting any more time, let's jump to the video. Now let's see what we get inside the box. We have a flight controller and four rubber grommets. Now sadly there are only four rubber grommets so in case if you lose any of those then you are pretty much grounded and you have to order some spare and extra. So please be careful while you are installing these. You can't simply afford to lose any of those. Now let's see uh, what this flight controller is trying to deliver us. In the front we can see we have a 4-in-1 ESC connector and at the back we have a DJI connector and if you're gonna flip the FC over we can see we have these pads over here. Now in case if you are using a Vista unit and you want to directly solder your wires you can simply do that over here. Then there are some extra TX and RX pad which can be used for X8 configuration where you can have up to 8 PWM outputs. You can also have more than 8 but like what's the point of that. Now other than that the rest of the part is almost similar except one major core feature which makes this uh, FC apart from all other FCs in the market and that is the new gyro which they are using. The gyro which they are using on this flight controller is ICM 42688P. Now this gyro is having a much lesser latency when compared to MQ6000. This can also do 8K refresh rate which other gyros like BMI270 cannot do. Now you guys gonna ask why other brands can't simply switch to this gyro. Well, there are some complexities with this gyro. The first thing is that it requires a very clean 3.3 volt input in case if you want a good performance out of it. And then it requires a bit knowledge in the hardware part. And this is something which every brand simply cannot do. So Foxir has invested a lot of money into this design and they have been active participating with devs to work on this flight controller if you're gonna look at the 3.3 volt regulator on this flight controller we can see the size of it and if you're gonna compare it with something like speedb uh, f7 v3 we can see that the regulator is located over here you can see this is the regulator this is the 3.3 volt regulator and you can see the size difference this is almost double the size of that uh, on the speedb so this shows that it requires a very clean 3.3 volt and also it requires some bit extra hardware so this is where Foxir is pioneer 